Hello, my name's Karen, and I'm a guide at Gloucester Cathedral. And I've chosen to talk to you about part of the window behind me, which uh, we call the Ivor Gurney window. It's a memorial to the Gloucestershire poet and composer Ivor Gurney. He's not terribly well known nationally, but locally uh, we love his work. And um, there's a very uh, well known mezzo-soprano called Sarah Connolly who loves to sing his songs and she felt there should be a memorial to him in the cathedral and she did a concert to raise the funds to have this window made. There are eight panels and they all either refer to Ivor Gurney's life or to his poems. He loved Gloucestershire and uh, he lived at the early part of the 20th century and fought in the First World War. And while he was in France fighting, he wrote many poems and he thought of his home county of Gloucestershire with great longing. Some of the panels are quite sad, and I'll tell you about those first. There are two which are not quite as colorful. One is a scene of the Somme. It's in somber sort of grays and browns, and you can see the, the troops trudging through the mud and the stumps of trees which have been blasted by the bombs and, and a great sort of shell hole filled with water and uh, the helmet of a, a Tommy. And um, a little further along, there is a, a window showing Ivor Gurney looking down, seated in great sadness. And that's because in the later part of his life, uh, he suffered from mental health problems. I think he suffered from shell shock after the war and he was admitted to a mental institution and uh, sadly died there. And the window, that part of the window shows him looking in despair at pieces of paper on the floor, unable to write his poetry. But the other panels are the most superb colors and brightness. The window is made by a, a wonderful window designer and maker called Thomas Denny. And he's really um, brought the spirit of Ivor Gurney into these windows. Um, many of the windows, they have scenes of Gloucestershire. The first one on the left features the um, May Hill, which is a, a local landmark. Uh, another one shows a hillside and a woodland in starlight, and that's a hillside near Stroud. And there's another one showing the Seven Vale um, with um, the, the pollarded willows and the river winding through. And I think that is based on a poem or song which I think contains the most well-known of Ivor Gurney's um, quotes, um, do not forget me quite, O Seven Meadows. But my favorite one is a little bit further along and it's a scene from the on the Cotswolds with a, a couple walking hand in hand and it's the most sumptuous colors, beautiful blues, golds, yellows, apricots, pinks, and uh, it really reflects the, the uh, scenery of the Cotswolds in harvest time. And just at the bottom, there's blue and earth. And in fact, if you look, there's a body hidden in the earth. And it's uh, representing the body of, of Gurney's closest friend, F.W. Harvey, another poet, who he thought had died, but in fact hadn't during the war. Um, but it really is the most beautiful, uh, glowing window. They're all wonderful. Come and look at them, and there's lots of information here that tells you about them. And if I'm here, I'll tell you more about them too.